Welcome. <clears throat> gang this is your boy with cash to deploy the one who's witty from new york city your host on the east coast dripping the funny and flipping the money matt richards y'all coming straight out of your phone to wrap up the weekend the questions are queued up and the clues are clued up so if tonight doesn't lift your mood up then somebody screwed up but it's good to have you here spending your evening with us and what an evening you've picked too Every night we give you the toughest test of mind and memory, with only the elite rising to the top. But tonight, it's getting a lot more brutal. The questions don't stop until the winner's circle is the size of a silver dollar. The 100. Oh boy. We're pitting Professor against Poindexter, Bookworm against Brainiac, until tonight's entire pool of players is slashed down to an exclusive club of 100 or fewer. And only those elite will share the $5,000 prize. Real money for the real smart. How does that sound? Probably like a party. Party ha ha. Yeah. Will you be among the best of the best? Or end up too stressed for the test? And just to make the difficulty even worse tonight, extra lives will not be usable after question 15. That's the deep end of the pool, not for beginners. So make sure you've got your floaties and your water wings. Grab a pool noodle. Let's do a poll. How many questions are we gonna ask tonight? Under 20, 20 to 29, or 30 plus? What's it gonna be? Cause we're not stopping until the number starts dropping. Ow. <laughs> All right, 43% of you said 20 to 29. We shall see. We shall see. Oh boy. I'm ready. I got, I got my mug here. All right, as long as we got you here all this weekend, we've been talking about Project Isaiah. You know, our old friends that are doing so much great work beating people during COVID-19. Just this past week, they partnered with Janelle Monae's Wonder Lunch charity to feed 2,000 meals to families in LA's Watts neighborhood who've been impacted by the pandemic. Look at all that helping going on. And as we told you last night, the Project Isaiah Card Writing Corps still needs volunteers to send a card, a letter, or even a drawing, get the kids involved, to an elderly person who's isolated during, you know, this time and would love to know that someone's thinking of them. HQ is so touched by this, we're matching our prize to give $5,000 to Project Isaiah. But you can help by writing to these seniors. Go to tinyurl.com slash or go on Twitter at IsaiahOrg to volunteer your time. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Well, I think the time is drawing near. The sky has fallen dark. There's a quiet in the air, a sense that a great clash is about to take place. Many tens of thousands have entered, but only a select few dozen can leave. There's no rest till 100 or less, so keep your eye on the screen and don't get distracted. It all comes down to right now, because there's nothing to it but to HQ it with question number one. Here we go. Which sport is commonly played on a green surface? Beach volleyball, ice hockey, or tennis? What's it going to be? Starting out real easy, okay? So make sure you savor these easy ones because they're on their way out soon. You will be playing on surfaces, on you see surfaces with different colors, right? Blue and red pop up sometimes, but grass green is the classic color for a tennis court. 73,277 got it right out of sight. Dynamite! Question number two is here for you. Y'all ready for this? All right, here we go. What celebrity recently announced a bid for the 2020 presidential election? Taylor Swift, Kanye West, or Martha Stewart? Who's it gonna be? I'm gonna let you start this quiz, but actually, Beyonce would be the best president of all time. Sorry, Taylor, uh, this happens way too often. Maybe this is what we can expect from Kanye's presidential run. 72,660, got it right. We got a picture? Look at this. 
<laughs> it looked like he about to do a comedy special in the 80s. I ain't mad at it though. All right, here we go. Question number three. What condiment is also called rooster sauce? Ranch dressing, sriracha, or Tabasco? Rooster sauce. Put a little rooster sauce? Yeah, put that on everything. All right, you may see roosters on ranches, but the answer we're looking for is the one with the big bird on the bottle. Spicy, but not too hot, sriracha! Or sriracha, <laughs> if you pronounce an R. Sriracha. Sriri. Sri. It's Riri. That's like somebody said, oh, who's that over there singing? It's Riri. Rihanna. Question number four. Knock it on your door. According to Nintendo, the Donkey Kong from the 80s arcade game is now what Kong? Cranky Kong, King Kong, or Oolong Kong? Who's Groovy? Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Okay, sorry. Only one of these were actually in any of the games, and you even see him turning the crank on a phonograph in some games. That old geezer is Cranky Kong, but he might still go for some oolong, you know? Cranky Kong was the OG Donkey Kong. Yay, yay! 29. Oh my goodness! Oh! Whoa, oh boy! 29,000. 414, got it right, that was pretty savage. Pretty, pretty savage. Question number five, all the way live. Also, we got gift drops throughout the game tonight. So, uh, be ready! Okay, here we go, question number five. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. question five. Which of these organs has bronchi? Lungs, bladder, or kidney? All righty, looking for the organ that's got bronchi. Bronchitis doesn't start in your bladder, that's for sure. For anyone that's had a particularly bad cough, you may already know that bronchi are in the lungs, baby. Yeah, lungs. 35,851 got it right. We're not stopping until we have 100 or fewer players. Here we go, question number six, and it goes a little something like this. What does LaCroix's new pastec flavor taste like? Cider, papaya, or watermelon? For a company from Wisconsin, they sure strive to look European. That's all I'm gonna say. If they ever make a zucchini flavor, look for them to call it courgette, just like they do uh, with pastec. That's the French word for watermelon. Ooh, 18,347 got watermelon. <laughs> Congratulations, question number seven is just around the river bend. Here we go. Which Canadian region does not border Alaska? British Columbia, Northwest Territories, or Yukon? All right now, here we go. These places all sound nice during the hot, hot summer months. But if your destination is Alaska, expect a longer trip. You know, if you start in the Northwest Territories, which reach pretty far east. Northwest Territories, 15,183 in the place to be. Question number eight, let's go to work. What up, Nate? Oh man, we go in the distance tonight, baby. Cheers unto thee. Nom, nom, nom. All right, here we go. Question number eight. Hope you're feeling great. Which of the Spice Girls has a stage name that's an actual spice? Victoria Beckham, Melanie Chisholm, or Jerry Hollowell? You got this one down if you used to collect those little stickers that came on the gum or with the uh, lollipops. I had a binder full of them. Personally, huge scary fan myself. All right now, okay. They have to have some record for how long they've gone without a lineup change, but only one of these girls can spice up a batch of cookies for you. Ginger Spice, AKA Jerry Hollowell. Why does the swamp have to be so bloody muddy? Remember that? Spice World. Suck it to the left. Okay, 14,609 got it right. 
Go in the distance, but that's still way too many of you to split up the prize money. So how's, an, how's about another one, huh? Question number nine. Which of these brands has the most Instagram followers? Victoria's Secret, Nike, or National Geographic? I'm looking for the brand out of these three with the most IG followers. Oh yeah. All right, well, what would you want pictures of most, huh? The internet is weighed in, and while there are impressive numbers for Victoria's Secret, most people would rather look at hermit crabs and fossils, because the first brand to top 100 million was Nat Geo. Look at that! I follow them, and I love their posts. Yeah. Oh my gosh! That's another Savage Question. Savage Question song! Sorry you got it wrong! Savage Question song! There's a savage question song. 5,680 players got it right. National Geographic is the answer I was looking for. But again, 5,680 is far too many. We just had 4,456 extra lives just get used. Remember, you can't use them after question 15. Let's go. We still got 10,136 players in the game. That's a lot. We're whittling it down, baby. Question number 10, my friends, time to get it in. Here we go. Which of these people was awarded a Presidential Medal of Freedom in their lifetime? Alvin Ailey, Ernie Banks, or Shirley Chisholm? A Presidential Medal of Freedom in their lifetime. These are three great Americans and three Medal of Freedom winners, but posthumous medals are definitely a thing. And among this group, the medal was given by President Obama in person to Mr. Cub, Ernie Banks. Oh yeah! We got 4,460 players that knew that and got it right. Alvin Ailey didn't get his till after he passed away, sadly. But he deserved it for changing the dance world. Ernie Banks is the answer I was looking for. Question number 11, all dogs go to heaven, baby. Here we go. Which flavor has not been featured in an absolute vodka product? Lemongrass, elderflower, or coconut? Shout out to all my vodka drinkers, huh? You should, you should know this. <laughs> absolute is Swedish for absolute, but they cut the E off, so it's totally different. But in their long flavored history of vodkas, there's been absolutely no coconut. Oh boy, 3,360, got it right. If you want some good coconut vodka, you gotta go with that Diddy juice, Ciroc coconut, baby. Make yourself a Coco Loso. That's when you take the Ciroc coconut, put a little pineapple juice. It's the drink of the summer! Ciroc boys! 3,300 of you got it right. You're moving on to question number 12. Normally, this is where it's, it's the end of the game, but we're gonna keep it going. Q12, here we go. A production company behind the Hamilton movie takes its name from Alexander Hamilton's what? Birthplace, son, or writings. Da 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 Oh man, he he was singing, but he kept the spit kept flying out his mouth. I was like, ah, the particles, the particles! No, make it stop, King. Get out of here. Okay. All right. Watch all the media related to this movie, and you'll see a gigantic Disney logo. They paid for it. And the much smaller names, Lynn manuel Miranda and Nevis Productions LLC, after the tiny island where Alex was born. 1,812 players still in the game. Now, this would be a nice prize if it was a regular game, but we're going for the chunky money, babies. And we're only going to get there until, uh, you know, when we, when we have 100 or fewer players. So onward to question 13. Know what I mean? Let's do it. Q13, which of these artists is not heard performing on the Voyager Golden Record? Louis Armstrong, Blind Willie Johnson, or Johnny Ace? Who's it gonna be? This is exciting now, because <laughs> any one of these questions could be the end of the game. All right, NASA launched two mixtapes to the stars in 1977 so that aliens could hear, you know, what we jam out to, right? It's widely known that Chuck Berry is on it, but they'll also hear Jazz Blown by Louis Armstrong and a somber blues piece by Blind Willie. No Johnny Ace. 1,270 still in it to win it. Oh boy. 
And remember, you can use extra lives after question 15, so if you get knocked out, get back in it, because that's the only way you're going to win it. Oh, yeah. Gift drop! <laughs> Tap that thing, baby! Let's go! You can never say we don't love you over here, because we do. We definitely do. Da da da. 100 coins? Oh, yeah! <laughs> 100, 100, 100! It's the 100. 100 coins. Here we go, question 14. Which of these planets spins in the opposite direction to the other two? Saturn, Uranus, or Venus? What's it going to be? All right, for spin direction, two of these go the same way, but they're outliers among the rest of the solar system because most of our planets spin the same way as the sun, except Venus and Uranus, making Saturn the answer with the rings. Bling, bling. Every time I come around your city, bling, bling. Pinky ring worth about 50. Oh my gosh! What? I'm throwing stuff! Savage question song! Sorry you got it wrong! Oh my gosh! Oh! I felt that one right in the bronchi. 263 players. Got that one right. Saturn is the answer we were looking for. 703 of you are moving on because of extra lives. See what I said? Uh -huh. All right. Here we go. Question 15, babies. The host of Night Gallery also wrote the screenplay to what film? Planet of the Apes, Soylent Green, or Logan's Run? Lock in your answers. Oh, hold me closer, tiny dancer. All right, because it rhymed with locking your answers. So, <laughs> you open this app with the key of imagination, an app not only of questions and answers, but of mind. That's my Rod Serling. Uh, host of the Twilight Zone and Night Gallery and writer of 1968's Planet of the Apes. Baby, get your hands off me, you dirty ape. 540 players got it right. That's the last chance you have to use an extra life, okay? From here on out, it's just you, your wits, win it, don't quit it. Here we go. Question 16, jelly beans. What item in a video game uses programming that is patented in real life? Katamari, Master Sword, or Portal Gun? Oh man, things are heating up. All right, yes, you can patent video game tech that doesn't really exist. In this case, you'll be run through the courts if your game steals Namco's patent on how uh, Katamari retains its round shape. 318 players still in the game, babies. Any one of these next few questions can be the end of it. We just got to see. Oh, my goodness. Woo! Big money, big money, big money. <laughs> Rock with it. Question 17. Let's go. Here we are. Which TV show takes place in the hometown of Time's first Woman of the Year recipient? Coronation Street, Friday Night Lights, or The Wire? What's it gonna be? Uh, 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 uh. Wallace Simpson got Time's attention for getting a king to marry her, and she was from Baltimore, where The Wire is set. We have 73 winners of HQ Trivia, baby! Woo! Let's go! <laughs> oh my goodness! I thought it was gonna go, I thought it was gonna keep going! Wow! Oh, that's so exciting! That is exciting! No pressure! There's only 30,000 people watching you, that's way more than Madison Square Garden! Come on now! More? It's, we got a full Madison Square Garden and then some. Everybody, 101 winners. Everybody's $49.50 richer. What? Yeah, how did that happen? <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Congratulations to everybody. $49.51.50. Good job. Matt is a... I'm just gonna say Matt is a sexy guy. That's what you meant to say. Birdwatch, Quizmons, uh, Edward Pett, Drew Beck, Dipuanmo, 
Rodriguez, Marth. Oh, good job, everybody. 49.50. That's not bad. We got to let us know in the chat if you want us to do another one of these real soon, huh? Another 100 game. That's how it went down. Spend that money wisely. All 101 of you, I guess. Uh, and we're grateful to everybody who showed up just to witness this excitement. But there's excitement every night on HQ. The next game is tomorrow night. Same time, same app. You don't want to miss it, baby. All right? Don't forget that you can brighten a senior citizen's day by volunteering for the Project Isaiah Card Writing Corps. Go to tinyurl.com slash Isaiah Corps or on Twitter at Isaiah Org to sign up and be a helper. Until we see each other again, this is Matt Richard saying, take care of yourselves first, then each other, and then business.